What's going on guys? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about the ACR manual on MR safety. So in 2013, the ACR published the white paper on MRI safety. And then in 2020, there was an update to that white paper that came in manual form. The intent of this manual was to be used directly by all of us so that we would have policies and procedures that would be a little bit more directly applicable to MR safety in the clinical environment. Most of the manual is essentially unchanged from the 2013 white paper. There are sections that are uh, identical. There are other sections that are largely the same. And then there's been some changes since the 2013 white paper into the 2020 manual. The biggest change or the most significant change is the designation and delegation of duties of the MRMD, the MR Medical Director, the MRSO or the MR Safety Officer, and the MRSE or the MR Safety Expert. So the manual does a really good job of outlining a good MRI safety program structure with the MRMD, MRSO, and MRSEs. One other thing to point out about the manual is that even though it uses words like shall and will and must, the manual itself is not a requirement of ACR accreditation. And whenever you apply for ACR accreditation or, or are inspected by an ACR inspector, they're not going to check to see if you've implemented this particular manual. They're gonna to look to see that you have MRI safety policies. And so those MRI safety policies can, can be the ones out of the manual, which is the intent of the manual. However, they can also differ from what's in the manual. So you're not necessarily beholden to the exact verbiage that's in the manual, but it's a really good starting point for developing your own policies and procedures for your specific MRI department. The manual itself is 56 pages long, so it's quite a, a thorough manual, which is really great. The information that's in the manual is really good information. And the idea behind it, like I said before, is that you use the manual and that you implement the policies and procedures in the manual, or at least some version of this in your own policies and procedures for your MRI department. So you can find this MRI safety manual on the ACR's website. We're going to click through it real quick and just show you the uh, general layout. We have the table of contents here and what you'll see are the different sections within the manual. Within these sections, there are specific policies within the sections. So there will be some, uh, some aspects of policies that may fall under uh, one of these headings or topics. So in this manual, you're going to find all of the, the policies and procedures that you're gonna to need to be compliant with the ACR. So policies on MR personnel and non-MR personnel, who the technologists are, what the differences between level one and level two trained staff. We have our policy for MR screening right here. And that policy is gonna include screening for staff as well as patient screening uh, when we're looking for anything that shouldn't be going into zone four. We also have our pediatric policy as well as our policy for pregnancy. That's in here also. The manual is also gonna cover things like sedation as well as the contrast policy that's in here. It also covers implants, devices, and objects. So how we screen for those and several things in the MRI environment, such as uh, the different MRI zones, cryogen safety, and responding to codes. And there is also coverage on hearing protection as well as thermal heating. All of those topics are gonna to be found in the manual. And this is a, a really cool section. It's a, a new appendix, appendix one, which talks about the organizational structure for the MRI safety program. And so it'll actually give uh, what that structure looks like and what the general responsibilities are for the MRMD, the MRSO, and the MRSE. And there you have it. There's your snapshot on the ACR's MRI safety manual that came out in 2020. I'm sure there will be newer versions of this at some point in the future, but for now, this is a really good place to start and uh, use as a resource for development of your own policies and procedures 
in creating a safer MRI department for both staff, patients, as well as visitors. If you have questions about the MRI safety manual or questions about MR safety in general, feel free to drop a, us a comment or send us an email. We'll be happy to take a look at your MRI department, talk about your policies, talk about your procedures, and see how we might be able to help.